you know, my old man sort of texted me after the, 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 the semi-final and said, you better get home or think about getting home. I didn't really believe him in what he said, but uh, yeah, I got home quarantined for two weeks in the house. Luckily, I didn't have to go into the hotels or anything. I have one more family here and uh, it has been lovely uh, to be a part of that. I'm not used to uh, living with people because I have been pretty independent uh, for most of my life. Like I moved out of my house, I think when I was 15. Having to reinvent yourself with training every couple of weeks because you, you know, you're having four, five, six months off. So I, I would have loved to have been able to travel around the world and um, you know, perhaps even gone back to India a bit early. It has been quite hard to be honest, uh, to stick to a diet plan because you feel like, you know, what am I eating good for? Or if I can have a mithai or if I can have some sweets or a cake, like it won't do any harm because there's nothing to do, you know, right now. But then you think to yourself that you would want to be ready for whatever comes next. It's very challenging to get up every single day and uh, work at home. And since day one, uh, I was still doing work at home, like, you know, working out and uh, borrowing equipment from other family members. If someone has a dumbbell, someone has a pull-up bar. I really miss being around the club and the boys and um, a professional environment, I suppose. I mean, we're very lucky to have all of this in Australia, but it's, um, it becomes pretty difficult to keep getting up every day and doing the same thing. I've been very fortunate with uh, Eric's presence here, over here because training by myself would have been so, so different, uh, especially if, if I come to the ground. But having Eric, you know, he has connections, he has, you know, he knows people, knows Forbesy, uh, who's, who's our trainer. We're more of a professional relationship in, in BFC and I think now it's become more of a personal one. Um, you know, really enjoying the company that he brings and <laughs> to work with him professionally day in, day out is, is good and bad because, you know, he's difficult to score against so you, your confidence goes down but you, if you want to score a goal against him, you've got to, you've got to really put it in the corner and it, it's, it's helping my game tremendously. Uh, he's got a great personality. I think he's one of the few Indian boys that probably could make a TV career now. He's a very intelligent guy. I think he knows what he wants. Um, and he knows that he is the best goalkeeper in India, possibly in Asia, but he is working so, so hard. And that's really infectious, you know, so very similar to Sunil. Um, these guys are at the top of their game, but they're still looking to, to go to another level. You need people like that around you to continually push you. Um, and Guprit, obviously, you know, he's gone vegan. He's, you know, I've got him into the F45 training. Um, so he's, he's looking to sort of reinvent himself and go to the next level. So it's very inspiring to be, to be around him. I, I never knew Eric that much uh, as a person, but I think for the past two months, uh, hanging out with Eric before training, we have our chats and stuff like that. You know, we open up and uh, be vulnerable about our personal stuff. And uh, it, it has been quite the experience uh, with Eric. And I think uh, the bond that I share with him is, uh, is a very close one. And I can safely say that, you know, I have a good, good friend in uh, Australia. I'd like to spend more time with him because uh, we both pretty much live alone. You know, generally speaking, in a football environment, you see each other so often, you don't need to spend any time together. But, um, yeah, there'll be a conversation to see if we want a room together or something during the seasons. I think it's, it's healthy to be with someone who, you know, wants the same sort of things. You know, go to bed early, get up, eat well, train well. Um, and, I, and it's great for me. I'm with the Indian number one goalkeeper, so it rubs off on me a little bit. He's after Sunil Chaitri in the national team. I'm going there. <laughs> this is serious, serious. Serious spin. What a bad <laughs> See? It kills the hand! Honestly, if this coronavirus wasn't, wasn't happening now, I would have already been back. The, the, the squad there, the, the team uh, behind the scenes, they just do everything the right way. When I, when I arrived in, in Bangalore, uh, you know, I had people at the airport greeting me. You know, people had never seen me play before, but just heard things about me and you know, them shaking my hands and saying, you know, thank you for coming to play for BFC. And I was like, I haven't even kicked a ball yet. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till you see me play and then you can comment. But um, their, their support means the world to me because 
they've pushed us through so many tough moments in so many tough games. You know, we're, 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 pretty, we're a pretty hungry group and that's why I think it works for me. I'm pretty motivated and, um, you know, I, I, I wouldn't have never thought I would have been here as long as I have. But, you know, now, now that I'm in this, this sort of range, I'll, I want to stay as long as possible. When I arrived, I think even in the last three years, the, the competition's just gone through the roof. Uh, you know, you're no, no longer getting guys looking to finish their career, but actually, you know, trying to promote themselves and get moves to other countries or, you know, make a good career path in India. So it has been a little bit of a surprise, but a, but a very nice one. Have so much supreme talent uh, in our country. We just need to make sure that you know we nurture, nurture them correctly and uh, show them the right direction. Just the exposure, the knowledge, uh, the realization that happens uh, is so late in uh, in our country that the players are already you know finished. You know, 19, 20 years of age. These guys need to be pushing to play well in the ISL for a season or two and then make a move to a country with a plus one because they're not going to go and play in Europe. Like, it's the same as the Australian boys. You might go there and get a chance, but you're most probably not going to play, so. I think with more players going at the young age would bring back their experiences and tell them they'll fail and they'll come back. No one is going to get success in the first time unless you're very lucky. You have to go there and fail and come back. That's what I did. I went there, I failed, I come back. You know, I've been trying to talk to Guprit about playing in Australia for a long time. It's just the, the unfortunate position of uh, a goalkeeper. I think it's probably Australia's best position. All you need is, is one team to take a risk and try and get a plus one Asian spot goalkeeper. I don't know. Right now, I'm all with BFC. So, you know, I'm focusing on that. But if there are opportunities, who knows, you know? I would be happy to consider. I, I like the uncertainty, that's what drives me. I know I've got till 36 I finish this contract in two years time and I want to just you know play as long as possible. If I can get to 40 then I'd love to get to 40 but you know I love this game so much it actually brings me so much happiness day in day out um, that I, I would be stupid to sort of walk away. For India I was definitely looking forward for the India versus Qatar game in India. And uh, I'm looking forward to play ATK again and uh, the AFC, AFC playoff. Those are the three games that I'm looking forward to. I think not having the pre-season in Spain last year definitely killed us because the season before we were playing games against Barcelona B, uh, you know, Valencia B, all these guys, and um, we just didn't have the competitiveness last year. And I think. This year, we, we want to play ATK, the first game of the season. Uh, I'm certainly looking forward uh, for the football to start again. Obviously, I don't want uh, things to start again if it's not safe enough. I don't want to be selfish like that. But uh, I, I believe that sports is one of those things which will uplift the community and uh, the nation in times like these. Everyone's done a little bit of soul searching in this time off. Um, my life, the last 15 years of my career, when I've been a professional, has been moving from hotel to camp to different country to different club. Um, and I said to my mum the other day, this is the longest time I've spent in the one bed. And it took a while to adjust to that, uh, you know, staying stationary. And I was quite jittery at the start, wanting to move and travel. And yeah, now I'm just happy to be here and be you know, blessed we're in a country with great weather and, you know, the lockdown's not as severe and um, it's definitely made me think twice about what I want to do when I finish playing is, you know, possibly to be in Australia. I think just to uh, realise how, like, how small and how uh, vulnerable the life is around us, how many things that we as people have overlooked uh, in a in a lifespan, you know, like family time and time to ourselves. So things like this has have been really eye-opening for me. Hopefully, after all of this is finished, uh, we, you know, live a better, better life.